afternoon, so they'll be jamming with us uh, throughout the afternoon. The afternoon's gonna be fun when you're coming back. We'll have uh, Red Hawk playing, we'll have a community cookout going on. Kids will be doing some trunk or treat. We'll also have a little bit more. Join the 5K. <laughs> yep, there you go. Do the double. <laughs> Logistics for you all. We're going to do a little tribute to one of our fallen warriors, Mr. Kinsel, and then we'll get you guys on the road probably just a few minutes after 7 o'clock. As you can tell right now, we're almost on the borderline of needing a headlamp. Probably needing it right now, but maybe in five or ten minutes, uh, we can do with that. Runners. So let's gather around here at the start line. We're going to go over the course, aid station information, and whatnot. Uh, but we're going to start the day off uh, with just a, a greeting. Gary shared a couple beautiful songs with us this morning. Um, and we want to acknowledge that uh, this week, uh, we did lose one of our legends, one of our, one of our heroes, one of the great warriors of the nation. John Kinsel Sr. So we want to start with just a just a moment of silence for John, uh, and then we Gary's going to give us a, a tribute to John uh, and, and honoring his amazing legacy. So Gary, uh, we'll do the moment of silence, and then we'll uh, give it over to you, sir. Uh, we go. I think uh, we can tell stories of John all day, right? Oh man, what a life! 107 years of it. Uh, but one of the one of most vivid memories I have is of John being here in 2017 with Billy Mills. Oh, man, that was a moment. And he was just, just hanging out and just like John always was, just telling stories and sharing life with us all. And always had that twinkle in his eye. And, oh, man, that laugh. And I saw him just a few days before he passed. And uh, he still had it. He still had it. 107 years later. Uh, he was still, still that same guy. Uh, and... We spoke with uh, the two living co-talkers, Peter McDonald and Thomas, uh, at John's service the other day, and uh, they're carrying on the legacy, man. Being on the side of Natsasan, so 50K folks. Uh, if you are doing the 10 miler, you can relax for a couple hours. If you're doing the 50K, it's showtime. I want to introduce you to a couple people. This is Raiji, he's your lifeline out on that course today. He'll be all over the place. Uh, and put in some miles himself. This is Mary Lou, his assistant right here. Hey, Mary. Uh, this is Ron. You're going to see Ron a couple, several times today. Ron's going to be a spotter up at the waterfall, one of the key spots on the course. Uh, we also have first thing this morning, getting you a beautiful sunrise. We got Chase B. Yazi right here. He's running and supporting out there, one of our awesome sport members. Oh, yeah, what a feel, too. Look around, look around. All righty, runners, are you guys ready? Karma ready to go? You guys set? You guys ready? All right. Remember three things when we're starting, man. Three things! All right. You got fire in the heart, fire in the mind, and just fire! <laughs> and three!
Oh, handsome people, go! <laughs> Take your time, beautiful. <laughs> Here we are at the uh, Natsasan Ultra, Trail Ultra. Kind of got here a little late. I was uh, setting up the other stuff at the school. I set this one up for Rob and Steve. It goes underneath the tunnel. Runners come through here. I set up some cones and then making sure they dig deep. <laughs> I hope Rob has a tape so I can cover that arrow. Not going that way. <laughs> going that way. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> was, uh, there dig deep go that way <laughs> it's a little bit of a the word can uh mean in different different ways not just that you're digging deep digging deep uh dig deep in yourself especially when these runners are going nice little motivation word to dig deep you're almost there and the water drop is also nice our uh, dig deep aid station <laughs> saying that word way too much but yeah this is the the dig deep aid station the uh, high school the whole thing is like back that way I can't calculate the miles in my head Maybe a good five or six miles through the twisties. Not like straight from a distance road wise, but got the, the dig deep sign, that rinse kit so they can wash their hands, their face if they need. Got some water, salty snacks, a cliff bar, some sugar, uh, Mott's natural sugar, some Gatorade. Then they can just continue on through the tunnel. Pretty sweet. Yeah, just waiting for Rob, Steve, and Mike to show up so I can hand this over to Rob and Steve. Their race doesn't start until like 3, and it's barely 9.17, so they have a lot of time. They can 
give some of these runners some words of encouragement that I'm enjoying Mike at the high school and we'll have a hand washing station sink the generator going some hot and cold water some of this stuff for like the 10 K's and the 5 K's so when they come back the 10 milers as well there's a 50 K 10 miler I, th I heard 10k unless they got those two mixed up and a 5k I'm not sure about 10k I heard 10k on the uh, the uh, the microphone I think he meant to say 10 miler or I don't know one of those two but some of the runners have already gone by uh, I got here just a little late I caught the last two runners and I was still trying to set up and they came by and uh, yeah bumming that I can't do it but not too uh, not too bad though I during that filming with Brendan and Dig Deep I did a little running segment so I changed and I started running and I could feel it right underneath the ankle on the outside right underneath every time I took steps pushing and like like stepping and then pushing off my toes I can feel it right there and I was telling Rob I was like yeah I can't I can't run I can't run more than like maybe two miles because <laughs> I can just feel it's just a little pain going on right in there so I'm glad I didn't sign up for this or I'd be really just struggling the whole time. But yeah, hopefully Rob and Steve shows up. Some more runners come by. It'll take a while because they have like a whole 18 miles to come back and then through here. Out in uh, guy, so. Uh, there's also a four mile fun run if you're in, into that. Where do we make it? Um, I do everything on the computer. Okay, so that's how we... We need to get radios. This is the sink that we give to the people. Oh, really? This is um, a water pump. Uh-huh. And, but this is what we do, um, normally set up for the families that don't have a sink. Uh-huh. So a lot of the elderly that don't have sinks, this is what we is set up. Is that for um, only running water only, or they can be? Wa running water. Uh-huh. Drinking water, uh -huh. washing dishes. Uh huh. Your head fits in here. You can wash your hair in here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But the, the this is Shauna Joe coming in. Been showing up for about 18 miles so far. Got one leg to go. They got 13 miles to go. Another lap. Red Hawk, whenever you're ready, go ahead and jam it. There are cones there, Red. Craig Dawson, all the way from Australia. Yeah, yeah. representing all the folks down under. Welcome to the Great Hawk Nation.
it's red hockey here. Get a snack or your lunch, your breakfast. Oh, senior class is selling uh, by uh, where the garage is. Garage, two garage doors. The senior class is selling food over there too. I don't know what they have. If you can give us a menu. right behind him there, and he will set you up. For example, right here. <laughs> that was the whole plan. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll just burn you guys out. Yeah. But, okay. Thank you. Well, it's not a horrible day, so I'm not going to have to Thank you. Yeah. Well done. So other age group winners, be sure to check if you are first in your age group. All right. the men's overall, this is a 10 miler. We have, um, hey Jake, we have a masters in the 10 miler. It's a time of 159.50. I know. All the way from Zedman, Mr. Donald Batten. Oh, Donald. Oh. He is running around in the male overall 10 mile race today. I'm Donald. All right, all right, good job. 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 Male Masters with the time of 5 hours 25 seconds is from Montezuma Creek is Mr. Roger Stash. Woo! We'll get a group photo here. Alright, our second place winner from Poland. Yay, almost. <laughs> with a very Polish name, it is Mr. Thomas. Uh, she said, Pogbeats? Pogbeats? 
All right. <laughs> Thomas from Farmington with the time of five hours, 22 minutes, and seven seconds. Thomas. Sadly, right. I don't know how to say my own last name. Right. Right. Nice. <laughs> and he is the 50K runner up. Awesome. Thank yeah. you, sir. Congrats. And our 50K winner with the time of four hours, 58 minutes, and nine seconds. Also from Farmington, Mr. Stan Allison. Stan, come on down. And we've got our top three finishers right up here. So if anybody is interested in a photo, come down and grab these three guys right here. I'm worried about that one. Gotta trade the questions hard. All right, gentlemen, how about it? Three photos. Come in the center? Yeah. Or, oh, I guess. Or he should be in the center. Yeah, you want to go out? You want to be in the center? Oh, no. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Hey. Which way? Well, yeah, uh, with mouth. How about that? Yeah, yeah like we never have mouth in the back. Yeah. Drop. All right, scoots together there. Scoots together. Okay. Nice. All right. Jonah. Hey, puppy. <laughs> First female finisher of the 50K. Heck yeah. Oh, I can't. Thank you. The national anthem Thank first. You. The American flags are there and there on either side of the entranceway. Run a mile and a half up the mountain and then a mile and a half back down the mountain. Yeah, it's just over three miles. What, 5K equals? Oh, we're going to run down to the bottom of the driveway here. We're going to turn left on the dirt road, heading toward the water tank. So when you go down toward the water tank, where are you going? Up toward the water tank. Once you get to the water tank, you go just a little. Uh, all right, so she's going to give you a three, two, one, go when she's there. Right. What's about? You want to sing us a song? The same, the same one, because these guys haven't heard it. And it was amazing. You want to hear her sing? Yeah. In, in Polish. In Polish. You know more than one song. Well, what's everyone you want to sing? Are you ready for a song? Let me get the, we gotta record this. Oh well, no, he will be recording it. Okay, song for you guys. Chłopoki, chłopoki, czyś tam mnie nie poznali. Żeś tam iż ta jera nie zagrali. Ja se dziewce łodec, co wał ojciec umarł, matka gdowa. Chłopoki, chłopoki, czyś tam mnie nie poznali. Ready? You think that was a real song or did you just make that up? I made it up. Are you ready, guys? I need to hear people in the front. I see some in the back. Come on, you are strong and you will run like the wind. Or oh, with the wind. Okay, I will be counting, starting with three, two, one, go! Good job, bro. Did you drink some water? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna wait till I get there. Oh, my. Right around the corner, though, huh? There's water right there, too. Oh, okay. Five K runners coming in strong. Nice job, guys. Check out. <laughs> Good 
Good job. Good For job. the vlog. <laughs> All right, here come some more finishers in all our 5K ruins. Come on, Alba, beat them! Beat them! Oh, yeah. 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 A lot of fun. Hanging out with people, taking some videos, hanging pictures. Steve and Rob's first time running. Shanna was out here running. Got everybody here. Met some people. They knew who I was, so fun. But you guys stuck around this long. Thanks for watching. And see you guys in the next one.